Fred and Sarah, this is the site we're seeing across much of the area right now, much of the Charlotte area. Empty power trucks. This lot has close to 100. They're waiting to safely restore electricity to some of the areas that need it most. Thousands are sitting in the dark, and there's nothing Duke Energy can do about it right now. Hurricane force winds battering that area right now, so naturally we can't get out to do damage assessments, move any equipment around or any of that. So that's going to be the case for uh, quite possibly a couple of days. Close to 20,000 crews, 8,000 from the Carolinas, 1,700 from Florida and the Midwest, and over 9,000 others from out of state are waiting to deploy. Duke Energy says there is a plan in place. We have experienced people, volunteers across the company and all that help us. So when we do our damage assessments, we know how to get those people to those areas where they can perform the work and uh, help us with the overall efficiency of the restoration process. The company is still projecting between one and three million outages as the storm finds its way across the Carolinas. Now Duke Energy is urging people that are venturing out between the storm, maybe some of those rain bands, to so watch out for some of those down power lines because you never know, they may still be charged. Reporting live, I'm Clay Gordon, NBC Charlotte. Clay, thank you.